Hi, hello people! I just graduated from high school and I'm off to college in the fall, so I thought going through some of my old art would be a fun little nostalgic trip down memory lane before I leave forever. Let's get started, shall we? So I wanted to start with this, my pre-K yearbook, because I made a drawing that says, when I grow up, I want to be an artist. And I thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Clearly very promising. <laughs> also, look at my portrait glow up. This is September and then March. I even learned how to write my name. I said no paparazzi, please. <laughs> okay, next. That. <laughs> It's terrifying. Oh my god. Throw it out the window. I- okay. <laughs> this is disturbing. Why did I draw eyes like that? <laughs> what is this? This is the OG iPhone back when they had the home button. Bruh, hairline check. <laughs> what? <laughs> the art of whiteout. Thank you, very cool. I love how I just gave up on the sky. I had such a mouse phase, I could not tell you why, but I was just obsessed with mice. I think this is supposed to be my mom. She looks like an alien, but that's okay. That is terrifying. I never want to see that ever again in my life. <laughs> again with the waterfalls. Again with the hairline. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Why are the hands conjoined? And also, I love how even though it's literally a drawing, I still like had to make sure the halo was attached because we care about structural integrity here. And it's very interesting that as a young child, I conceptualized angels as being white and blonde. That sounds to me like some internalized oppression. Oof. Why do I keep drawing the same freaking exact same landscapes? They're not even exciting. <laughs> and then each branch has one leaf. Nice. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> is this animal abuse? Why does it look like a turkey? <laughs> Jackie's sketch of Jackie's bean plants. Jeez. Possessive much. Oh my god, I remember this trend. It was like the trend before the super S. Bamboo. Oh, at least she has a hairline. Um, are you they possessed? <laughs> <laughs> what is this shit? That, that is so scary. More animals. I think we're solidly in the bunny phase now. Same girl, same thing, over and over again. World's largest muffin. That's not a very large muffin. Hey, this isn't that bad. Even though the house is like a pancake. <laughs> um, why are they crying? Okay, so then now they're just getting less and less anatomically accurate. That is also terrifying. Too many things wrong with this one. I, okay. <laughs> that is so scary. That is so scary. Okay, this was my sketchbook from Chinese school. So the Chinese school I went to, they had like an after class thing and I always signed up for the drawing ones and it wasn't like actual classes, like they didn't teach you anything, but you would just like sit there and draw. Table of contents. <laughs> Looks like I gave up pretty early. <laughs> I think this is oil pastel and gouache or watercolor, some cheap paint from China, I don't know. Hey, these are like not terrible. No thoughts, head empty. That is just mean. That's so rude. The Crayola markers. That is disturbing. <laughs> that is backwards. What is this? Is this corn? Baguettes? Shrooms, I guess. <laughs> um, okay. We have a color scheme. Okay, getting better. Again with the damn waterfalls. Jeez. Oh, there's Charizard. Is this a person like in a shopping cart? I don't even know. Nice. <laughs> Kung Fu Panda. Shapes. Okay, I think this is the graphite phase now. I was clearly very not great at erasing the eyes. There will be many of these to come. What the fuck is that? <laughs> the arm really gets me. Still life, pretty boring. I feel like every single Gen Z artist had an anime phase at one point. It's like a formative experience, like the first boss you have to defeat. It's so you. Confession, I drew anime all the time, but I have actually never in my life read manga or watched anime. So I am a, 
a fraud, a nice assortment of eyeballs. I really thought I could blend. <laughs> I love how you could, like, all the outfits that I designed for these characters are very much reflective of my fashion sense. So, <laughs> the boots. Oh, I think I was really into penguins for some reason, too. So I think these are more graphite sketches. Why is the... Okay, we're just not going to talk about that. Okay, maybe we're not going to talk about this one either. <laughs> These are so boring, oh my god. I really liked personifying inanimate objects. Oh, that's so sad, I didn't give the milk a face. It's discrimination. Oh, probably because I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> I think this was supposed to be me. I think this was supposed to be me again. Oh, that's definitely me. Didn't I already draw the same exact thing? Probably. Oh no. Why is her ankle like dislocated? Oh my god. Can you find the secret message? Hint, three words. I remember. If I'm correct. Oh yeah. The answer is I hate math. I was that kid. It's very sad. Why? Why did I ever think this would be a good idea? I think these are just progressively getting more and more boring. Coca-Cola. Oh, a croc. Okay, now we're getting somewhere spicy. No! Not the cat girl! Piece of broccoli saying I'm a piece of pizza. I I don't know what went through my head. Happy Halloween. Lord. <laughs> this hurts me. Oh Jesus, this is Taylor Swift. <laughs> you know I got this shirt from Justice. So this is when I first got Copic markers and I was very excited. Amber. <laughs> I think this is my attempt at an OC, an original character. <laughs> I don't like that. Put it away. Ew. Not the Candy Crush Saga personified. <laughs> nope. No. Oh no. Carmen. Rowan. That is so- I'm- um, this hurts me. More eyes as per usual. Stop! Get away! I agree. So many cat girls, jeez. I don't know what this is and I'm disturbed. Body guidelines? Yes, this is exactly the proportions you should- Anatomy 101, yup. I hate myself so much. Here's a bookmark that I made that I never actually used to read books with. Oh, this is a girl from Wreck-It Ralph. Here's another drawing. I love reading bookworms, so it's me declaring um, my nerdship. I think this was supposed to be me. Oh, I remember this. I used this as my profile picture when I first got an Instagram when I was 10. Um, and my accounts kept getting deleted because I was underage. Every time I would get like a couple thousand followers and then my accounts would get deleted and I would be so, so sad for so long. And I just kept remaking new ones. An apple, pretty boring. A wedding except like panda cosplay. <laughs> Why? The flower even has panda ears. Why? Why did I do that? This is my OC Reyna. I remember I was proud of this. Uh, very cool. Oh, the hair phase. More hair. I don't know why I can't just like draw things in moderation. It's like listening to the same song over and over again. Like I would do that for drawing. This is a potato I drew with Crayola color pencils and I thought it was so quirky because I drew a potato. Yep, that's the story. <laughs> Cubes with hair. Nice. There's an eye and yet another bunny. This was when I was starting to get better at using coping workers and drawing anime and stuff and I could draw without references, which I was pretty proud of. I love how I put the eyebrows on top of the hair. Oh, hello. So there's these. No such thing as too many cat girls, I guess. Why is the hair like an apple? Ariel, again. I think that was gonna be Rapunzel. I drew this on my birthday because my birthday is the 4th of July. Why did I give her like huge boobs? Why was I down bad at like age 11? <laughs> This was my first ever colored pencil drawing, so inaugurating the colored pencil phase. Okay, I think this was like a fake Wreck-It Ralph character that I made up. I could have just finished this, and I just did not. Rapunzel except Easter cosplay. Sleeping Beauty except Anna from Frozen. I was really into like weird ass crossovers. I don't know why. More hair. I, I, I don't, I don't even know. I have even more questions. Just why? I, I, Oh, I was really proud of this one. This is a frog from Rio 2, I think. Maleficent that I never finished. <laughs> Elsa except Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> Why? I 
Rapunzel except tiny. Rapunzel except a vampire. Rapunzel except Dia de los Muertos. Maybe not with the cultural appropriation. Oh, I think this is my attempt at drawing Ariel without a reference and clearly it did not go well. Elsa except I never finished. I think this was Christina Webb. Do you remember Color Me Creative? What happened to her? I... Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Ariel except like Chucky. Why? <laughs> Another eye. Unfinished cupcake. Unfinished candle. Unfinished Bambi. Unfinished Miranda Sings. Unfinished candy. Unfinished chicken from Crossy Road. <laughs> oh, it's the Mockingjay pin from The Hunger Games. And it's a dollar. I'm pretty sure I saw this at the MFA or something, like in an exhibit. I think these are all sketches from the MFA. Classic white man statue. Um, Yoda. <laughs> oh no, the Buddha, except decapitated. Okay, I think we're starting the colored pencil hyperrealism phase. I drew this in a study hall in sixth grade. Oh, a little surprise on the back. This is atrocious. <laughs> Anna from Frozen. Taylor Swift, but I never finished. <laughs> Oh my god. Miranda Sings reposted this on her Instagram and that was like the best day of my adolescent life. This was me like trying to design a character for Inside Out for no reason. I don't know why I did that. Natiri from Avatar that I also never finished because it was so much work. Look at the freaking- I don't know why I made the decision to draw like every individual pore. Truly a product of its time. This was my first ever watercolor painting and I don't know why I decided to draw this. It's like one of those lip art things, but then when you make it into a drawing, it just doesn't make sense anymore. Anyway, this, I remember being really mad because I liked this part and then I ruined it. Stitch, some pumpkins. This is when I hit 10k on Instagram on December 5th, 2015. But then I like didn't post for like years and then I lost all of my followers. <laughs> Cara Delevingne except a unicorn. I really want to know what went through my head. Here's an eye I drew on the plane, like on the little fold-out trays. Would you believe it? Another eye. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> this drawing was my pride and joy. It took me so damn long. The ridges made me want to give up and die. So I was really close to just not finishing it, but I did. I did it, I powered through. Um, okay, I drew this before it became neo-Nazi symbolism. We're just gonna, okay, moving on. Oh, I remember I painted this because there was friend drama and then I was sad and then I posted it on Instagram and the same friend who was making me sad like commented, oh my God, this is so pretty. And I thought that was very funny. I had a Melanie Martinez phase. Here's an egg. Why did I draw Harambe? I strongly disliked this one and I do not blame myself. This was a painting I made about my stepmom because she's kind of an evil bitch. <laughs> why did I? She's not white though. Like why did I? My default person in all my art was like white people. Chocolate covered strawberry. I was clearly a big fan of food. This is a yearbook cover I did for my middle school. Here's like a sunset thing, I guess. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that is so unfortunate. Okay, we're just gonna pretend I never drew Tana Mojo. Ew, I tried to draw this without a reference and look at the side profile. Ugliest thing I've ever drawn? Yes, I agree. Here's a diamond. Another watercolor painting. If you've never drawn a mandala, then are you a true artist? Ethan Klein. The beanie was so much effort. Chance the Rapper. Here is a pineapple. Very cool. I think about it now and I'm like, how did I not get carpal tunnel from drawing this small? Like, this is like ugly. <laughs> this is my attempt at being creative. Technology is killing us kind of thing. My decision to put that pixel right there will haunt me until the day I die. Here is another drawing that I was so close to finishing but just did not. Like I literally spent probably over 40 hours on this piece and I just like was at the finish line and I said no. <laughs> but look how much freaking effort I used to put into these shits. Why did I do that to myself? Here is some hair. I really utilized my gel pen very heavily. This was me attempting to be creative and not use a reference and you can really tell. <laughs> you can really tell. Again with the no reference. <laughs> <laughs> this is so unfortunate. Okay, this was with a reference. It's so much better. Me trying to be quirky like, oh, here's a drawing of me drawing. This is supposed to be my 13 year old hand, but I made it look like a freaking grandma. Okay, we have a basic bitch painting here. More basic bitch drawings. 
This was the day before my 14th birthday. I drew a happy birthday thing for myself. Isn't that sad? Oh, it's Liza Koshi. <laughs> I thought it was clever because I was like, oh, she's a little brown girl. Ah, ha, ha. At this point in my life, I was like struggling very hard to be creative. And this was like the extent of my creativity. This is probably copied from somewhere on Pinterest. Oh yes, another example of me attempting to be creative. I could like choose one element to add to another element that was copied from a reference and that was like me being innovative oh cancelled this one took me so long I don't know why my style was like drawing each individual pour I truly don't know why I did this other than masochism it appears I never finished this one here are some shells I found at the beach 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 <laughs> Ninky Ninja. You can really see that I'm starting to like try to not be solely dependent on references and like add creative elements, except it's like so not. <laughs> like these circles, wow. Like my creative vision brought me here. I hate charcoal. I don't know why I drew this. Here are some skulls. I'm glad I never finished this. <laughs> okay, this is my only attempt to be like, I will be one of those artsy hoes that has a completed, put together sketchbook and I will finish this. So I invested in a Stillman and Burn sketchbook and then I never finished it. Because of course, because I have commitment issues. Here is page one, basic studies, nothing exciting. Drew this without a reference and it looks so whack. <laughs> Oh, this is me trying to make a statement about diet culture. Ah ha ha! Again with the no reference and again with the proportions that are literally whack. Why? Very good question. More ballpoint pen stuff. This is my only attempt at stippling and I never did it ever again. Uh, I don't know about this. I was clearly angsty. Sometimes I give too many shits. Wow, how profound. I think that's it. Yep. Here's something that says blue because I was sad. <laughs> oh yeah, you can really tell I was sad. This was my first and only attempt ever at using oil paint and I will never do that again because I think I like suffocated because I did not know you were supposed to ventilate. The mouth is so crooked and it has bothered me for literally years. Here are some watercolor flowers. Here's an ink drawing. This was fun. I did this with charcoal and modeling paste in like 20 minutes and has texture. Some basic flowers. I did this in soup me ink. You can kind of see with these pieces, even though they're so ugly, I was trying very much to be looser and to be more expressive in my art. I think these were supposed to be sunflowers, but they look like meatballs. <laughs> I don't know. A squirrel. Some hand gestural scribble things. I am not quite sure what this is. Okay, this is from the summer of 2018. Oh my god. <laughs> so I was in this online math class thing and I would do math on the train to work. <laughs> and my sketchbook with me so I would just use this as my scrap paper. I was such a nerd, oh my lord. Here's a painting thumbnail. Here is me and my friend Sophia. <laughs> more math. Nice. And another painting thumbnail. Some more math and some more paint. Self-portrait sketch. Some value scales plus whatever the hell this is. A butterfly. Or two butterflies. Swatching. More thumbnails. A tree. I think this is Sophia again. And Sophia again. Here's a little hand thing. Fuck you. Thank you. Very cool. Here's a rose. Here's Sophia again. More painting thumbnails, another hand, another thumbnail, more thumbnails, balloon guy at Boston Common, more sketches from Boston Common, and a statue from Boston Common. I gave up halfway through the shading, so I just like did these scribbles and pretended that it was an artistic choice. Uh, brain vomit. Sad. Oh well. I'm sorry for being such a disappointment. <laughs> Here's a sketch from Tate Bakery. Here's some pomegranate. It's very boring. I was just trying to figure out how to use watercolors. Here's another watercolor thing. Then there's this. And that's it for the sketchbook. Mother Nature, I am so sorry. <laughs> painting thumbnail. Painting thumbnail. Some flowers from a hike. Here is a painting thumbnail that never turned into an actual painting and another painting thumbnail that never turned into an actual painting. Here's a sketch of my friend Maddie. I remember I was so mad that I added the gold because I think it ruined it. Here's a flower. I did this during driver's ed. 
This was also during driver's ed, and so was this one. Some flowers. I just drew a line, and I think I came back later and said, thank you, Kanye, very cool. I do not know. Yes, I really don't. Here's some sketches, Billie Eilish. I don't know why, but I really liked making them look sweaty with my white gel pen. <laughs> Okay, I get so many like free sketchbooks from different places, so as you might have noticed, there's a bit of a trend where I'll literally fill like two pages of a sketchbook and then leave the rest blank because I just can't commit to one and finish it. So this is another one of those cases. So there's literally this and that. <laughs> That's it. So that is all I have for you today. This gave, I was gonna say, this gave me so much secondhand embarrassment but then I realized it's not secondhand because it's literally me. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a beautiful day. Bye!